Hello guys, welcome back to one of our videos. Today we are at Callum Flea, which is in Sheffield. It reminds me a lot of LX Factory in Lisbon. If you've ever been there, you would know. And I'm just so excited because I love secondhand thrifting and I just love furniture. So let's see if we find anything that it's exciting. We're not gonna buy anything, but it's just for the hell of it. So first of all, we have things outside. So it'll be very easy to spot the flea market because they have a bunch of stuff just hanging out and there's like a one-way system so that COVID doesn't attack us. And then you have, uh, usually they put the pieces that they find most exciting at the entrance because they go away super fast so if you visit them one week the other one you'll find a bunch of different furniture especially these pieces of furniture like sofas and tables they just go fast so if you find something on their instagram which you should keep an eye on just drive there asap because if you don't buy them somebody will I really like this cage for example and if I had a house I would be bringing it with me I don't even know what I'll put in there but I don't know I just really like the style and you can find a bunch of tables that they're kind of old and they just need a TLC you know they just need some varnish and they would just look so beautiful and you can even buy old phones you can buy vintage paintings anything really they have it even clothes and everything <laughs> and some special pieces that are not so vintage but they're cute anyways we also have a bunch of vintage toys like uh, this little dollhouse they have toys from the 1940s and 1950s and so forth so forth so it's like you're actually going to a, a museum, you know? You can even find doorknobs that are made of glass and they are so beautiful. If you want to restore your doors, like if you just want to bring them back to life with some new cool stuff, you just, you, you can find anything here. And look at this. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. If I only had a house. I, it would be in my car boot, like a SOP. I just love it so much. It kind of broke my heart to leave it there. But somebody will also be happy to have it. And when my time comes, I'll find something. And these dishes and the mugs, just the whole set. They, it was so beautiful. <laughs> and they also sell plants. But once again, uh, we pretty much just live in a dark studio. Uh, we don't have any direct light and indirect light is very scarce uh, unless it's in the summer. Now it's looking a bit brighter inside but still we would not be able to have plants. And then we have this bathtub which is... Um, Ricardo said he was like a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> he thought he was. Uh, I don't, I'm not really into bathtubs. Um, I had one when I was growing up and I'll never use it. Kind of a waste of water in my opinion. <laughs> And you have big dressers, you have um, mirrors, you have anything really you'll find here. And even if you don't find something, just come back and like in a week and you'll see, you'll for sure see something. Fleshki is also learning Russian, as I said before, and there were some Russian signs and some creepy stuff as well. Uh, these dolls, uh, but I'll also find the ammunition box from World War II, which uh, Ricardo was really into, and Andy killing himself, trigger warning, I suppose. Bunch of creepy dolls and Buzz Lightyear, and a beautiful, beautiful frame that if I call it, I'll just take it home, put a mirror on it. I'm sure it's not too hard to buy a mirror, like in custom measures to put in that frame it'll just be a central piece for any living room and with these lamps you just have to buy a cute lampshade this is an airport seat by the way and then you had a little section where they had a bunch of pieces just made out of wood and i think if i ever bought one i'll just put a little dark oak vanish so that it would look so much better i just don't really like the look of um light color wood i just like the the look when it's dark 
so if i were you i would do that as well <laughs> you have vintage paddington and a bunch of vintage clothes others they're not so vintage they're literally like from years just a few years ago but it was amazing seriously go there and visit this place if you can in my world don't worry, we are in a bike trail and you can see the whole city from here. I am the mayor of this city, Sim City. It was I who built it. We're <laughs> gonna have lunch now. So now I sing to you. And when you go, leave me here all alone. I'll be waiting, we can make it because I know that after all this time you okay, So now we have continued to go uphill and then we just turn right and we are in this open field and there's like a football uh, I don't know what is it? It's field? Like, yeah, football field. Yes. And there's like two other families here and it's quite hot given the fact that it's the UK. I mean, I I know I have my jacket on but it's just because I'm very cold all the time. <laughs> I think the flea market was just so cool and if I had my own house I would have uh, bought at least like five pieces from there. But I don't have yet, but if you guys want to check my other video where I show all of my house inspo, you can just click on the card, or check the description, and I just really like going into flea markets and flea stores, I suppose that, because it's not really a market, and I think Flashy also enjoyed it, right? Yes? <laughs> It was very nice. There was some, uh, there was an ammunition box from World War Two, toys from children from World War Two and um, Cold War. It was very cool. I really liked it. And furniture from the mid-century as well. Everything was just so cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, just leave a like, subscribe for more videos and comment down below what was your favorite item from the flea market. And I'll see you in the next one, bye. If you don't, flea will bite you. Ah!